We'll get to Wofford. You know, this is a team that a lot of us, even the the casual college basketball fan, has become familiar with over the past couple of years. Um, you know, getting to the tournament a couple of years ago, they go 15 and 9, 12 and 5 in conference. They lose Storm Murphy, who's been one of my favorite players in college basketball over the past couple of years. He's transferred to Virginia Tech, first team all conference guy. So where does Wofford go next year, losing essentially their best player? Well, they lose him and they lose, um, you know, Trey Hollowell, another guy that's that's decided to, to go back closer to home. And he'll be going back to, to Moorhead State um, in his home state of Kentucky. So not, not a bad move by him. But I also, I also think that Wofford, you know, while they lose those guys, it, it's a little bit different for them than it is, say, for UNC Greensboro because they have enough shooters uh, returning to the fold. You know, and you've got – you know, you've got a the ultimate glue guy in, in a, a Ryan Larson, a guy that, you know, is always defensively so sound. And, and you've got – also, you've got a guy like Morgan Safford, who was a great um, defensive guard. I think, you know, he was an all-freshman player a year ago. He, he's a guy that can, can score and um, up and down a little bit as a shooter, but, but a pretty good player. Max Klesman's another guy that's a really good shooter. Um, and they've made some additions as far as uh, in, the, in the paint last year. B.J. Mack, a guy that came over from South Florida, uh, transfer that, that can step out and, and hit some, th- you know, perimeter-type shots. I, mean, I remember a game against uh, East Tennessee State last year. He had a, the game-winning shot from the top of the key with about, I think, five seconds left in a, in a key game for them early in the conference schedule. So uh, they've got kind of a nice mix of – inside out uh sam godwin's another guy that that can can kind of step out and and hit uh, the you know the perimeter shot as well as go in the paint and score in the paint so uh they've got a nice jay mccauley has a nice mix of of players coming uh back this year and messiah jones you get more at so much more out of he, he i know he's only about six four but he plays like he's six eight because he's so powerful in the paint and he's so athletic and he's a guy that if he if he's so strong he he doesn't get to the rim he, he's going to draw a foul he's a pretty effective free throw shooter so he's a guy that's that's probably going to end up on you know one of the all conference teams uh come come uh, march before the southern conference tournament you know i'm a play-by-play announcer i do orangeville prep the number one high school team in canada we talked about jamal murray uh, with the denver nuggets out of that lugans dort oklahoma city uh o'shea Brissett, indiana pacers mm-hmm. Um, Ignis Brzezikis, uh, Orlando Magic, bunch of guys. Um, but that Messiah Jones, man, I wish I could call his name. Like that's that's like a play-by-play announcer's dream. Yeah. Like Messiah Jones. Hey, Messiah, yes. I yes. Love, love that. Uh, 